Well, g'day folks and welcome back to the channel. Uh, tonight we're continuing on the leather ice sheath. Uh, it is all dried from the wet forming now. As you can see, it has hardened up an awful lot compared to that one. Once you once you wet form it, it strips some of the oils out. It makes it a lot harder than, than the straight leather. So, yeah, you need to get some of those oils back in, which is part of what we're going to be doing tonight. So tonight we're attaching the belt loop on. Now to start with, what we're going to do, we're just going to ease it a little bit. Same thing as we've done with the folds for the sheath. Take a little bit of leather out just to make it so it's gonna get our loop a bit better. Okay, now the cuts don't go all the way to the edge. Just going to put a little series of them along here just to help it to get that bend a bit easier. Okay, just helps it come around that wee bit easier, so the leather's not binding up as much in on the inside. All right, next thing we've got to do because when we go on with the belt loop. We won't be able to finish these edges properly. And also we won't be able to finish the leather underneath properly. So we need to finish the edges of this one before it gets stuck on. And we need to put a finish on here as well. So what we're going to do is just using a beveling tool. Just going to go along and take the corner off. doing that to the four edges that we won't be able to get to later. Next we want to smooth down the edge. Now you can just use a standard sandpaper or you can use something like this. Uh, this is a leather working sanding stick. Uh, it's much the same as a lady's emery board so you could use that as well. It's just a foam filled piece.
with sandpaper on each edge. One side's a bit coarser, the other side's a bit finer. smooth edge along there. Okay. Now we're just going to check it for fit. in the location that I want it in. Just make sure it's all good. I'm all the size, the belt loops in the proper position, got the right angle and everything. And just with a scribe, I'm just gonna make a little mark. So we don't want to get any wax finish where we're going to glue it. Because the wax will hold the glue off. Okay, the same as when we glued up the sheath, we just want to rough up the smooth leather just for the glue to get a bit more grip. step is to slick down this edge so we just get a bit of water all right I just want a little bit of warmth to that water I don't want it hot just warm and then you can add a product called gum try to get canvas um, to it and that will help it to slick down. I've also heard that you can use PVA but I've never used it. I generally just use a little bit of water and a cloth. So a bit of friction here, you're looking to build some heat up and cause the fibres to set down. Another thing you can use is a slicking stick. Uh, this one's just a cheap pine one. Just find the gap that suits. And you're just burnishing that up. You're looking for that shininess. The shininess means that the fibers are nice and matted together.
go, nice and slick and burnished in. Then we go to the other side. Again, cloth with a little bit of water. All right, all done. Now our next step is we want to put some wax on the areas that we're not going to get to later. So we can't get in underneath there and we can't get in underneath there too well. So we're going to put our wax finish on those. That wonderful wax paste that we made up on the other video, which I'll put a link to. Okay, we don't want to go all the way down the end there. Again, I'm just going to use some friction to melt that in. Just want to, you're trying to lay those fibers of the back down. And the wax will help them to mat up. Okay, so that's that one. Next we do our sheath. Now, when you're working the leather, what you do to one section, you keep going through. So I want to take it right out the end. Don't want to get it in our gluing spot. Okay, there we go. Now next, we need to glue up. Let's clear some of this mess out of the way first. All right, that's better. Um, I like to have a nice clean surface when I'm gluing up because I don't 
need any more junk in there. So, it's the first glue. Now, inevitably, you will get a wee bit of wax when you're doing that first coat. into here but you want to try and limit it as much as possible so you've, you've got that space free to glue. Okay, we just wait for that to go tacky. on the edge A bit of pressure to drive it home or the other side It's going to want to clamp on it, so I'll just grab a clamp and, and back again. One of those nights tonight, sorry folks. Okay, now flush. Put that on there. Now at this stage, because we're starting to get towards the finish I do not want to be leaving clamp marks I'm not going to have it wet again so I'm not going to be able to get them out so last thing I want to do is leave clamp marks on here at this stage all right that'll just need a bit of time to dry I'll let it dry overnight and I will join you tomorrow and we'll move on with the getting the stitching laid out and ready to go uh, so please like and subscribe you can come along with the journey with me and thank you very much for watching don't forget to hit the bell icon thanks bye